What have I done, Reg? I didn't think you'd hear me. You're always such a sound sleeper. I just meant to sneak out with the map and then I pretend someone else must have dug it up. But you had to wake up, didn't you? And go off like you always do. I didn't mean to hit you that hard, Reg. I was just scared. You're scary, you know that. Everyone's scared of you. Remember when I told you I was the only one not scared of you? That was a lie. I was the one who was the most scared of you. Scared of what you do. Scared you might turn to me one day. What am I going to do without you? What am I going to do? I'm sorry, Rich. Please forgive me. Please. It's root. It's going to be all right once the pain's going away. Stay out of the fog. It bites. <laughs> If I've done this right, you'll wake up in a bit. You oughtn't take people's things. Oh, I feel great! It's not your bloody castle! You can wait down there all you like! But I'm never coming down! What's my secret? Motoline! Duel of the future! It makes you so strong! <laughs> You'll have to come down sooner or later! No, I won't! I'm gonna fly away! <laughs> <laughs> Motoline gives you wings! I hope he's got a parachute. I think flying is overrated. If everybody could fly, people would dream about swimming. You're not going to fly. You're going to come down like a sensible person. We're going to rob you, and then you'll go on your way. We might even pump your stomach, because we're proper, decent Christian folk. The ocean has everything. Fish and octopi and such. There's nothing in the air, except clouds, and they're cold and damp. You're not the bloody help, are you? So get out This be a lesson to you then. Come on, you daft bastard. If you think you can fly, just take a run at the edge and fly off. Ah! Ollie! They just don't get my sense of humor.
Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. Ollie Starkey, <laughs> I hear your house fell down. <laughs> Let me guess, a bottle of the usual. Much as I enjoy our quotidian transactions, I'm afraid I'm in need less of a distillation and more of a ratiocination. Oh, fuck up with the word of the day. Can we just open the gate for once? I could, but I won't. There is a mystery that confounds the best minds of the constabulary. A pomacious puzzle, if you will. Last night, there was unexpected morbidity at the apple tree. A malevolence at the Marlis Pomila, so to speak. Someone died last night at the apple tree. Find out how and why. And this bridge opens up to you like a rose in summer. Yep, they're dead. Let's file our report. You won't get past the Bobby without details. Who killed them? And how and why? Fine! I was just trying to protect your delicate sensibilities. I am dead, Ollie. The gate's now locked, but someone brought a chain and his own lock. Someone locked them in. A sad end to a beautiful life. Since when do you care about bobbies? Forget the bobbies. The tree. She's not going to produce fruit in a state she's in. Ollie, we're not here about a murdered tree. It's not the blights killed her. Something else. Fertilizer, not the murder weapon. Smells like mustard. Oh dear God, tell me no one's got mustard gas bombs. That's a nasty way to die. Not that there are many cheery ones. There's how. We just need the why and the who. Oh, maybe you'd like to wake the dead and ask them your questions. The dead say to leave no stone unturned. Really? 
Of course not. If I could talk to the dead, I'd just ask them who murdered them. No stone or stone cold Bobby. This is our dead tree now. Fuck off. A tad bit territorial, aren't we? If you're pissing off your enemies, you're probably doing something right. It happened at night, but they're not wearing their gas masks. Why would they cast them off? This one's buggered. I think someone shoved an ice pick through the filter. I'm afraid you've come to the end of your time. Hmm? What the hell does that mean? Aside from the obvious. Well, you're not my problem, I guess. You're a long time dead, and that's the truth. At least you could drink from the pumps here. Mm, what have we got here? Birthday, is it? This one protect you against a ferret's fart. Do like I've told you, Meg. Don't do like I do. Buggered again! It's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. I saw a dead man. His lips were green. He'd been eating grass, do you see? 
because he was starving. We're not cows. We can't eat grass. Stay still, you bastard. From each according to his ability. Have you got some answers for me? It appears your lads were lured and locked into the apple tree's private park. Someone tossed in mustard gas. They choked to death. But all the constables are equipped with... The masks were tampered with. But who? And why? It appears they'd come to the end of their time. Foggy Jack! Don't you tell anyone. There'd be a panic. Well, on your trolley. Don't forget to pop a joy before you hit the revolver. People take joy on purpose. Now, try to behave whilst you're in the village, okay? Hello. Would you like to donate to our Uncle Jack charity drive? On your trolley, you huffy wee fuck bumper! Ollie! <laughs> <laughs> there he is! Get him, lads! <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Fine. Oi! This place is for people what dress like I'll cheer you up, all right? <laughs> And dank. Mm -hmm. Just how I like it. My dear friends, it's getting late. I hope you're all heading home and ready to go to bed. I've got a lovely bedtime story to read to you. Now we can come back here from any other hatch, and we don't have to meet any damn English. Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. What do you think you're up to? Protecting the haves from the have-nots since 1829. I better skulk past them or it's going to be a bit of a ruckus.
It's not bloody Halloween! Right! right. That cuts it! Don't you even <clears throat> think about coming back! Right! Stop. I'm done Stop. fooling around! Stop. That dog! Stop. I'll fix you! We all get what's coming to us in the end. Take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh... But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time.
milk. A bit of sugar makes everything better. So, she's got coffee while the rest of us are drinking toasted chicory. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her. I hope I don't throw up. to bed with you. I don't think she likes him very much.
this is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am going to kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry. I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Dear Mr. Birthwhistle, thank you so much for your suggestion. May I suggest you spend a little more time pondering your work and less time pondering where you do it? That sounds like her, all right. Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> it's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I see? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple from the executive committee. I'm so sorry, something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. Is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie. So they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye. I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye. Margaret. Because she was dead. <gasps> You've got to eat. I'm going to throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yogurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right, coffee yogurt. What is yoghurt exactly? It's fermented milk. Like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. 